Welcome back, everyone. Uh, last we left off, we finished off the uh, outline, the floor, outside and inside of our level. Um, as I was waiting for one of you guys to comment, which first comment on last video was exactly what I was waiting for, uh, you can indeed uh, hollow out a box brush. So if you have your brush and whatnot over here in the details, if you scroll down and you tick the hollow, the inside of it will be hollow. The only problem with this is that uh, once you come out and start putting your extra boxes and whatnot next to each other, um, it gets it's 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 faster to build. Yes, 100%. But say down the line you want this wall to be slightly uh, smaller or bigger or whatnot. Well, then you have to come in and adjust the the brush. And then the next one over here is off, and then you got to adjust this inside, and it's just, it's a lot of hassle, I find, for if there's any testing and uh, iterations involved afterwards. So you guys can do that if you want. Uh, it's, not, it's not a bad method, it's just not the preferred one that I like to use. All right, so... Um, this is going to be another one of those kind of like quick videos and then halfway through I think I'll just end it uh, and probably speed run the rest of it in uh, like times five speed. So what you guys want to do, um, what I didn't do last time, if you guys haven't done this, uh, select all your walls, your outside walls, and in your details panel, uh, I'm going to just shove them down to 400. Okay, um, just so that I can add in an extra layer under these ones, and then I can texture those. And just by doing that, <clears throat> you'll see this modular way. See, if this was all hollowed boxes, this would have been quite difficult to, to actually uh, uh, do. Um, and I should have been moving at 50, but whatever. Okay, so now that I have that and you have like this weird space now, just copy, so hold the Alt and drag down. And there we go. All right, so I'm just going to do it like that. Next off, uh, I want to show you guys how to actually put in some windows and your doors. So we're going to start off right away and we're going to put in an actual uh, window asset and this will be kind of like uh, our ruler in a, in, in a sense. So I'm going to take this guy here and I'm going to drag him in. I'm going to make him smaller. Press the E, turn it around. Okay, and then I'm going to shove it as far into the, do into the wall as possible so it's like that okay so just so that you guys are aware uh, if you come over here at the top you have this maximize or restore this viewport just click it and you see you can get these different views uh, but since I'm on one screen right now uh, I'll just do it this way so uh, you have your your window in place and that's pretty good okay you come out and you'll take another box. Now this box, I would call it window sub. Okay, this way it'll be a lot easier to find afterwards. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, so it's in place now. And so what you're gonna want to do is over here in the perspective mode. Um, I'm gonna hit left and try and find it. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to come here um, and hit the geometry editing that's found in your modes panel. Hit that. And then here I can start dragging the points of our geometry. Whoops, control Z. Just control Z if you lose it. And you can drag these points into the frame 
and we'll get that perfect outline for our window. Okay, so once that's done, we can go back into our perspective mode and take a look. And that's more or less the whole outline, right? It looks good. So then all you got to do afterwards is once it's in and you're satisfied over here in brush type, just hit the subtractive and that will make the whole. All right. So at this point, I'm probably going to stop talking and just do all the other ones uh, really, really quick. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in, in a few. Oh, actually, before I go, uh, try and place your window sub, make a new folder, call this window, and we're going to add the actual window inside of it. All right. And then the window itself, move it to the house. So that way everything that's in the house can be found in your folders and everything is nice and, and organized. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys in a few and yeah.
All right, so I'm done with all that. Uh, next video, uh, we will be texturing all of our uh, <clears throat> all of our rooms out. I did a little bit here just for fun, but I didn't really uh, go into details. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I'll see you guys all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, have fun uh, poking some holes. <laughs>